Hello friends, this is Ishra here and in this video let us see how to install Pixel Experience ROM with Android 8.1 Oreo on the Redmi Note 3. So I'm just loading this Windows because it is raining outside and it has been happening for the past few days and it's very hard to shoot down those. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Here I am with the Redmi Note 3 running on MIUI 10 Nugget ported ROM and it is working pretty much good but there are still some issues because this is a ported ROM and before doing this process make sure you have a backup and to do that get into backup and reset and select local backups and enter your passcode and take a backup of your phone also take a backup of your social media and stuff like whatsapp so that whenever you install the new ROM we can easily restore with it so now get into chrome or any other browser you have and get into this website which i will leave the link in the description box below and then select the latest rom version which will be shown over here you just need to scroll down and select this or anything like this and then uh, tap on download and it will just start the download now after the download is complete just power off your phone and then press volume up and power button to enter into recovery now after it vibrates it will take a few seconds to get into recovery now after you boot into your recovery just tap on wipe and then advanced wipe select dalek or cache system data and cache you need not wipe your internal storage so that's not a problem you need not also erase your micro sd card now just select swipe to wipe and then come back tap on install and select your pixel experience rom file the gaps is already included so you need not download any specific gapps file from internet so you just need to swipe to confirm flash so as you saw that error was because of a old twrp which i am using and i finally flashed a new twrp and then this ROM now uh, installed successfully so before installing a custom ROM in your Redmi Note 3 make sure you have the latest TWRP version now as the ROM is installed we just need to wipe the cache and dial the cache swipe to wipe and then reboot the system so this is going to take a few minutes to boot up so sit back and relax and wait for the restart to complete as you can see the boot logo is awesome so here is it, it is now booted up and you just need to press on start button. We can just copy our data from our uh, Google backup. Here is it, Redmi Note 3 backup, last used 5 days ago. Fingerprint Fingerprint plus pin. So this screen is very much important, make sure you uh, just take a note of it as it is saying that in addition to using fingerprint to unlock your device you can further protect this device by requiring your pin before it startup so this says that it will encrypt our device i have done a mistake many times by just tapping yes over here and it encrypted my device and i had to format my device to install a new rom and it has been hectic so whenever you install a new rom if you get the screen just tap on no if you are going to install different custom roms on your phone and here's the fingerprint it works good and very much fine yeah it's here it is booted up and let me just reduce the brightness 4G is working fine, LTE is over here Torch is also working fine about phone and here's the Android version 8.1.0 Oreo Android security patch is 5th May 2018 and here's all the other stuff which we usually get in a pixel experience from we just can swipe over here to bring up the notification set like how it will be in the MIUI. 
so here is it enhanced 4G LTE mode I think this is the Vivo LTE mode and I think it's most probably working but I can't test it as I don't have a Vivo LTE sim in this phone and most probably it will work as it has been said in the ROM page in HDA developers and that's how it is so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the like button and if you want to share this video to your friends hit the share button so thanks for watching have a great day peace